to the event i was planning to take you guys with me to the antique warehouse mall which is a really cool antique store in memphis it's on a smaller scale but it's a pretty cool one however they close at five o'clock i did not know this why did they close at five o'clock on a freaking friday so we aren't going there because it's currently 4 35 and i'm definitely not gonna make it in time i live at least 25 minutes away so instead i'm gonna pick myself up a meal and treat myself i'm also going to the event i'm really freaking excited it is super hot though so i'm gonna put this on when i get to the event because it's it's way too hot it's literally in the 80s and i was dripping in sweat so anyways let's go ahead and hop on the highway and i'll see you guys in a little bit We've made it to the restaurant. My freaking feet hurt. I just bought these Doc Martens at Ross when I was in Atlanta for my birthday. They're so freaking tight. I'm used to my ones that I wear like a lot that have always been comfortable. I never had to break them in. But these, I think because they're so narrow in the front, they are so freaking tight. I really wish I would have gotten a size 12. Well, they didn't have size 12. That's why I got this one. But they were only 37, no, 35 bucks. But I had to take it off real quick because my foot was literally falling asleep. Anyways, let's go inside. So this restaurant is now called Sen Trang. Before it was called Pho Bin. Pho Bin was a Memphis staple. Like lemongrass tofu. That is the reason why I'm so addicted to lemongrass tofu. But the family actually ended up selling it last year i believe they actually let everyone know that it would be taken over by another vietnamese family and they would be kind of keeping the same recipes and so they still make the same recipes <laughs> we've got our food i'm so excited and my little treat to myself a little vietnamese coffee if you've never had a vietnamese coffee get you one also come visit San Trang they're so freaking good Ooh. after the day and week I've had this was so needed you can also buy this and make this at home by the way which I tend to do anyways um I'm gonna go across the street really quickly to show you guys this beautiful mural that they do every single year at this like grocery store and then I'm gonna go to Goodwill because it's literally four minutes away down the street only 519 and I do not like to arrive to events and things too early because I don't like it to be awkward where I'm like you know there's not enough people I'm really excited this coffee is waking me up also this food smells so freaking good but I'm trying not to eat it because I have my Invisalign in and I do not want to dirty my mouth it's my bag not the freaking cooler friends I'm a sucker for tables and this one is so freaking cute this is $14.99 this is really cool but it's 20 bucks. My 30 turning 30 series I'm doing is decluttering my clothes specifically. I'm not gonna go look at clothes, even though I really wanna find like a Halloween sweater or something. So I might take a little peek, but we're avoiding the clothes at all costs because I don't need any more clothes. One thing I am looking for though are some like linen um, napkins. So I'm gonna check this out and see if I can find any for like two bucks or something. I found this one, but it's more like cotton and it's only one. I would at least need a pair. This one is really cute. I can tell it's very vintage, but very much giving Christmas. This is giving autumn. Go Grace Lace. This one's pretty. I wish the frame was a little bit more ornate. This is definitely antique or at least vintage. Like a East Lake style. I think I'm gonna take this. Um, this for eight bucks and that for ten. Some antique silver or vintage silver. I think three. I just think you max. This is so cute. Some really great price, like, honestly. I was leaving Goodwill just now. And I'm always very careful when I'm out and about because, you know, I'm a little more on the feminine side and so you gotta be careful. But someone was screaming hello. I didn't look back because I was like, 
I'm not talking to nobody <laughs> and I have my receipt and stuff in my hands. I also had the, the stuff that I was carrying because I didn't bring a cart or anything with me. So I kept walking and she screamed hello again. So I got scared, but I looked back, realized she was talking to me. She was like, I just want to say I love your hair and you are absolutely gorgeous and your outfit is stunning. Ma'am, please, you just hyped me up. This is why it's good to get out of your house sometimes, friends, because <laughs> I work remotely and so like, I don't leave the house too much. You really made my day. I found an East Lake mirror. I'm so freaking excited. That's very much my style. And I also really just love mirrors. I also love when you look at the back of mirrors and stuff that it has like the old wire and the backing. You could just tell it was beautifully handmade. I also found an ice bucket. I have an ice bucket, but that one's more for like outside. This one, I'm definitely gonna use indoors. It's like wood with brass feature. The woman who I checked out with, she was like maybe like in her 40s. She tells the lady, the other lady who's like maybe like in her early 20s, she's like, she told me like, don't tell her what it is. And then she asked her like, what, what do you think this is? The girl did not know. And so we were talking about ice buckets and also the girl was like, I've only been to like motels and hotels where they have like the plastic ones where you put your ice in. It's really freaking cute. It was only $3.99. The other thing that I got was a tiny, tiny stool. And the reason why I really love this one was because of the wooden like spindle legs that it has. And there's like the rectangular top. This one is gonna look really cute. Probably like under like a little coffee table or like in my sewing area. Now, it's about to be six o'clock. So I'm gonna drive downtown. I'm gonna show you a little bit of downtown and then go to the event. <laughs> to the event there's like no parking i have to park like on this little entrance to the train tracks and hopefully uh nobody hits my car i really didn't think it was gonna be this packed this early let's go inside i will show you guys what we see i'm really freaking excited to see how they set it up this year starving there was food there but the vegetarian stuff ran out and but i don't eat meat um that's all they have but oh my god such an amazing turnout insanity this event gets bigger every freaking year amazing i think i'm gonna stop by on sunday because they have um like a local baker and she makes some like really good baked stuff so I think I'm gonna stop by on Sunday as well. I actually just ran into somebody that I worked with while I was working there. She's an amazing artist as well. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen her in years. But yeah, we ran into each other. It was so freaking cool. Like I was not expecting to run into her. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys downtown really quickly and then we'll go home and I need to eat. I'm freaking starving. <laughs> and then we'll do a little haul. I'm really excited.
taps on the floor. It's my little girls. They're smelling me, wondering where the heck I've been. So I got a few goodies. This is by one of my favorite artists and friends who actually lived here in Memphis. We met while she was living here. Now she lives on the West Coast. Um, but her name is Sarah Day Arts on Instagram. Well, so you can see this online on their website and their Instagram, but they also give out um, physical ones. So I always collect them because my art is in here. So here's me, the bandana. Yeah, this lookbook is just really well curated and she does such an amazing job. She puts so much work into this. Um, here's my greeting card and all of their cool merch. Anywho, let's jump into this all. So first things first, I got this Monster Market pin. This is by one of my friends from Instagram. Um, her name is Liz Reese, and she actually was asking her about this coloring book when she was making it, and I didn't know that it was gonna be at the event. I was actually gonna order it online, but I'm so glad I saw it so I could just grab it and go. One of my favorite artists ever, Danny Brito. He is a Cuban queer Miami-based artist, and he makes the cutest freaking stuff, and like very kitschy, and so when I saw this, I was like, yes, I have to get this. I did grab one of the Monster Market um, shirts. It says Monster Market. This is like the monster, the mascot for the whole brand. Monster Market bumper stickers. I had to get these. As a Monster Market creative, I had to get it. And then we have this one that says, I'd rather be shopping at Monster Market. I got this one just because like I'm an artist, freelance, and um, because I've been selling myself at the Monster Market, I just thought this was very on brand. I did get a Danny Brito sticker because you guys already know Halloween obsessed all year round. I love cooking, as you guys know. That's what my channel and my platform started with. Um, so it's just called The Joy of Cooking, but I loved it because it's kind of like spooky looking too. Void Paper Co. I love their stuff, but their stuff on their website sells out so quickly. I also believe they're Canadian. I knew they were gonna be at this, at this event for the first time this year. So I was like, let me just wait, wait to see what they have in person. And so I did see a lot of the stuff that they usually have on their website in person. Um, but the thing that I got was this notepad and again very much spooky perfect for me. All right friends That's everything that I got. I did get food I don't know about you guys, but I love Rajiv from Mean Girls, his YouTube channel. He was doing HGTV's YouTube channel, but then he made his own YouTube channel, and it is amazing quality. Like, he lives the way I want to live. Fancy, beautiful, purposeful. He is goals and an example of, like, how you should live with love in every single corner of your life. Obsessed. headed out the leaves are changing the breeze is a little cool it's not really that cold but it's a little cool i like to collect leaves this time of year when i see them falling in the red specifically um i used to make like little placemats when i was in elementary school and so that habit has stuck around maybe i'll do a little tutorial on how to do that i go to at home i feel like i've mentioned this in a couple of videos but at home sent me this back in like august when i made like a halloween shopping video for them on instagram well i just made the video it wasn't for them but um they messaged me they followed me and they were like we want to send you a gift card so you can do some more halloween shopping and i just have not went because i went on vacation and then i come back and i just been busy and then i also went on another vacation and so it's now october 12th and i still haven't done it and so i want to go before all the halloween stuff is gone because i know they've already taken their christmas stuff out Been. Yeah. I got more. I think I one just came in today. Hey, oh, really? Doing this? Man, it's my favorite. Yeah, if you had a smile when it came in today, I had put it up. Here. Oh, I didn't even know. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good one. You Thank you. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but look at the beautiful little berries. They look like tomatoes. I don't know, but they're freaking gorgeous. Also, I forgot to delete the videos from last night off my phone and put them in my computer. And so now I don't have that much space to record. So I'm gonna record really quickly, but look how freaking beautiful the world is. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a little bit. They have tons of things that you can choose from. I'm obsessed with the Peanuts crew and they have these beautiful, of course, tons. Are you kidding me? Halloween Holy Grail, here we come. This is a great base.
Okay, so I know we're in Halloween mode, but oh my goodness, Christmas is out, and I'm actually very excited because I'm going home, not for Christmas, but for Thanksgiving and a few weeks in December. I'll be going to the Macy's Parade as well as seeing all the Christmas stuff in New York City. Huge ass dog. Just left at home. I hate talking to you guys with my glasses on. It's so freaking hot. Bags of things. The clearance. Impeccable. So even though this is a video about Halloween, I did get like plates and stuff because I'm trying to transition a lot of the plates that we bought when we first moved in and donate those. I do have other um, dishes and stuff that I like collected. That's going to go like in my like pantry area slash china cabinet those will definitely be used but they're more for like content creating and like when people come over and stuff and like obviously for me when i'm eating and stuff i like pretty plates our every day i lo do love just like a white dish and they had some really cute ones i got some really cute stuff and i'm so excited to show you um all right let's go grab a burger because i'm starving we're at burger king the drive through is a little long but um i don't feel like going inside i forgot to show you guys what i got at post office i didn't know what the heck this was but i saw this and i was like let me get ready for christmas and so i'm gonna get two of these but this one was the cheapest one i found on ebay it was only five bucks i decorate with vintage decor pieces i just thought this was so freaking cute it was only like four bucks and again i'm just obsessed with pheasants lately you guys some ketchup Thank you. I got my Adam's family meal and I got a little crown. I had to go back inside. This is the only reason why I got this. So this is from the Daniel Lowe Company. Okay, so first things first, we have the plate. So this is a special collection that they just made. It's literally only three designs. Look how stunning this is. So followed me on Instagram, so I'm definitely gonna post a little um, post on my feed so they can repost it and, you know, other people can see it. All right, so we have Daniel Lowe & Co, Salem Mass on the back, simple. And then we have the border of the witches. And then the border also continues on the mug itself. On the inside though, you have all these like fortune telling, lucky charms. This is what the original basically looked like. It's just a remake of that. I also love that even though it's a teacup, it's huge. So like you can drink definitely coffee out of this. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside and eat. I'll show you guys my little Burger King meal and then we'll catch up in a little bit. no better sound than birds chirping in the morning. I don't know, it's just a nice reminder of life. Also friends, look at this. I love it. Thumbnail. Safety first. Good morning friends. So I am on my way to the Monster Market again because today is their pop-up for their like baked goods um, that they're doing with a local baker. And so last year I didn't go to any of the other events other than the first night. Um, but this year I'm trying to be a little bit more active and meet people. Also, I really want to try these baked goods. Yeah, it's so fun to see people dressed up in October. I'm sure a lot of people dress up like this all the time, but I didn't dress up really today. But it's fun to see all of us little spooky ghouls and goblins in our little getup. Um, there's quite a few cars parked already, so I'm gonna go make the line. <laughs> It's 11 28 so i wasn't here for too long the line got so freaking long i'm so glad i got here early because i know they are about to sell out because they didn't have that many pan pies made i bought just a few things from the monster market today and then i got four different flavors of the hand pies put my camera down 
This is one of my mutuals on Instagram. Their name is Emily Jones and their brand is called The Nine Muses Jewelry. Got this little dagger pin. I just thought it was so freaking precious. One of my mutuals on Instagram, their brand is called It's Not That Weird. They're based in Florida, so I had to get it. Ooh, I definitely need to cut my nails. I got a freaking dagger necklace. I've been wanting one of these for so freaking long. And I loved it because I wear mainly silver jewelry, but um, I do have like gold accent pieces. And so this is mainly silver, but with gold on it. I saw the other day and I wanted it, but I didn't grab it. But today I was like, let me just go ahead and grab it. I collect physical media, basically VHS tapes and DVD. And it's going to blend in so nicely in my little office space next to my uh, TV and VHS collection. I will admit that I have gone and looked at my stuff. I will say there's a little, there's still a lot of stuff left. So I'm hoping these next few days, things really start to sell. Also friends, I ran into somebody that bought um, one of my bandanas from last year. And I also overheard somebody say, they bought one of my bandanas last year um so that was pretty cool actually cleaning and decluttering my life but i have the window open and it feels so freaking good they recommend during autumn time and in the winter to open up your window let the fresh air in i swear to you you're gonna feel so good also it's monday and i'm off today so that's why i'm filming today i did some my leaf peeping my leaf collecting i'm probably gonna put them inside of a book to let them um like flatten nicely and dry out a little bit. Also be sure to put them in a ziplock bag to kill off the insects first though. I'm gonna check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm charging my phone um, and watching this movie, Big Eden. It's so freaking cute. It's a game movie on Netflix, but it feels very autumnal and it's really cute. You guys should watch it. Friends, the toasted marshmallow syrup, delicious. Please give it a try. It tastes just like the drink I made or had in Covington. All right, I'm gonna go cook dinner and then I need to work out. <laughs>